first group of numerals we're going to consider are the Egyptian hieroglyphic numerals. We have seven symbols. At this point, you might want to stop and print out this table so that you would have it. Uh, on most of the slides, there's a little picture of the table, but a big picture might be easier to refer to. The first symbol is the stroke, uh, which is one. Second symbol is a heel bone, which is ten. Now, not we haven't we don't have any ancient Egyptians around to talk to, so these are our best guesses at what these symbols might stand for. Uh, not the numeric value, but whether what they are heel bone and such. Or you can think of them as our nicknames for the symbol. The third symbol is the coil of rope, which is a hundred. Uh, these symbols were done by hand, written or engraved, and uh, there will be variations. For instance, you'll see the coil of rope pointing one way and sometimes the other. The fourth symbol is the lotus flower, uh, which is a thousand. The fifth symbol is a pointing finger, uh, 10,000. The sixth one is a tadpole. Some people think this is a bird, which is 100,000. And the last one is the astonished man for a million. Uh, some people would call this a praying man. Now we're going to do some examples. I would suggest that you stop at this point and try to do the example yourself uh, and then see if uh, I have it right. So we want to write 312 as an Egyptian numeral. So first for 300 we'll put in three coils of rope at 100 each. A heel bone is 10 and then there will be two strokes for the two. Second example Suppose we want to write 25,172 as an Egyptian numeral. First we'll have the 20,000, which would be two pointing fingers. Then for 5,000, we'll have five lotus flowers. Then for 100, we'll have one coil of rope. For 70 will have seven heel bones and for two will have two strokes. Third example, we want to write 2,307,000 as an Egyptian numeral. For two million, that would be two astonished men. For 300,000, that's going to be three tadpoles. Uh, there are no ten thousands, so there will be pointing fingers. For seven thousand, we'll have seven lotus flowers. And that's all. We don't have any pointing fingers, any coils of rope, heel bones, or strokes. Fourth example, suppose we want to write this Egyptian numeral in our number system. Well, we see that there is an astonished man for a million a tadpole for a hundred thousand, two pointing fingers, ten thousand each, that's twenty thousand, three lotus flowers uh, at, for three thousand, one coil of rope for a hundred, two heel bones for twenty. So the total is one million one hundred twenty three thousand one hundred twenty. Now, I have written these in order, uh, decreasing order. As far as I know, uh, there were no rules about what order they had to be written in. Uh, they could be jumbled, stacked on top of each other, written left to right, up to side, up to down. Uh, but for readability, it is uh, more convenient to group them. Now here's a picture of what an actual hieroglyph uh, 
a real hieroglyph, a real, we could say a real life hieroglyph looks like, and you can see many of the symbols that we've used.